What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're in Times Square. This is going to be another how-to. This is a very different how-to, but a very important one because a lot of people always ask and a lot of people always cautious on why I ride through traffic. It's not really a why. I live here, so I kind of have to. So if you live in a city and you have to ride in the street, I'm going to teach you how to ride in the street because you need to know it's very important. This is something you actually can't mess up on. If you try to tell if you mess up, you try again. Here, if you mess up, you can get hurt. So I'm going to tell you what to do and how to go about riding through the streets. And depending on where you live, the more traffic, it's going to be a little harder. So really pay attention to everything I'm going to tell you. So the whole point of this video is that I want you guys to be safe. If you guys watch my videos, if you guys watch my riding with these, I'm always riding through the street, but I actually have been doing this for a very long time. So I'm very aware about everything I'm doing and I know how to react and I know how to look. There's a way to look at all the traffic, the way to look at the cars and there's a way to move. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do. If you're ever in New York, you're gonna know exactly what to do. Or if you're at home and you live in a city and you wanna ride in the street, get to the skate park to get to the local store or anything like that, you're gonna know exactly what to do and to be safe. So that way your parents don't have to worry, you can go get home safe and then ride the next day. Okay, step one is to go with the traffic. You see I'm in between two taxis. You wanna make sure you're going with them. You've seen me go against, but it's not something you wanna do. I wanna go with the traffic. So right now I'm in the middle of the street, but I'm going with the traffic so they can both see me exact on both sides. Hello. What's going on? You see me, right? Perfect. See, that's the whole point. I want them to see me. Wait for the light. Follow the traffic laws. You don't want to go on a red light because the car is coming the other way. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go with the traffic. You guys are going to see I'm actually going to be not trying that hard to look. But you're not going to see me look at the camera. I'm going to look like this. I'm going to look like I'm daydreaming. Hey, watch. So it's like I'm looking, but I'm not really looking at one spot. I'm looking left and right and making sure that the cars and the sounds listen the exact same way. you like don't really look at where the cars are at. Kind of stay in between two lanes. It's like that, but you can let them pass. They won't come on the right right now. And that's how you gotta do it. You don't wanna do it where like you're blind. You know, you don't wanna look at one thing. So look at one thing, you're not gonna be able to see the next on your left. And you can hear the car come on the right. And there's another taxi, I think, coming on the right. Perfect. Bike on the left. You kind of hear and see everything, but like from your peripherals, I don't know how to spell peripheral. We'll put it on the screen if you guys wanna know how to spell peripheral and that's the whole point you do want to stay on the side of the street it's always the best but sometimes you have to stay in the middle to, in order to make a decision whether you want to make a left or a right at the next street sometimes i'm like i don't know which way to go so i want to make a left so if i'm in the middle it kind of helps and you don't want to be on one lane because then the guy in the bike's going to be pissed and the taxi driver's going to be mad and again you don't want to be in, in the middle of the lane if you want to be in the middle of the lane make sure you're going the same speed as the cars behind you very very mad right now i'm kind of traveling in between the bus doesn't get mad the taxi over there kind of doesn't really mind too much because it is a red light and going through the cars if you guys want to go through traffic a lot don't have really really wide handlebars and always pay attention to all the traffic laws when it says stop stop so there are signs and rules that you guys have to follow when you're riding the street you do want to follow everything the cars and the bikes are doing you want to go the same direction you got a stop sign that says red or a stop sign or anything like that. Then there's this sign right here. Which is designed for wheels. Two wheels. It doesn't say bike. It doesn't say scooter. Anything with two wheels. So you, long boards or booster boards, you got to stay on the middle of the street. But bike lanes are very friendly in New York. You want to stay in the bike lanes. You want to be very safe. If you don't want to go too fast, you just got to remember, you got to respect the cars. Do everything the cars are doing. Be exactly like a car. You're not in a car, so if you get hit, it's gonna be a problem. Now, like I said, you're not supposed to look at one spot. I'm looking at my peripherals right now. And What's up, gonna, buddy? Hey, it's gonna help you see everything. Like right now, if I look down on the floor, I usually look more down than anything. You can kind of see everything moving. You can see the people walking on the crosswalk. Right now, I am looking straight, but I can like hear and feel that car turning left. So it kind of helps. It's like you almost like close out your direct vision and really concentrate on everything else like this. If you don't do this, it's gonna, you can hesitate and stuff like that and you can get hurt. You don't want to get hurt. And always stay to one side. Now we have plenty of room. So if cars go, they're going to respect you. They're not going to want to hit you because they don't want to deal with you falling in the street. One thing you don't want to do is ride on the sidewalk. Everybody or anybody will tell you to ride on the sidewalk because the guy is pissed in the middle of the street. You don't want to do that. It's actually a hundred dollar fine if you're 16 and up and you ride on the sidewalk. So what I'm doing right now is actually illegal. So a lot of people are always saying, why don't you ride, why are you riding the street? Why don't you ride on the sidewalk? Right now I'm actually doing something very illegal and it's harder. 
get to deal with people that don't have lanes, people that are mad. Some of them are tourists, they don't exactly know how to walk straight. It's harder, and it's illegal. If anyone tells you, if you're under 16, get on the sidewalk, over 16, get in the street. Now, when you have to cross the street the other way, it's obvious. Wait until it says walk. When it says walk, when you're going across traffic, it means ride. It's the same exact thing. Right now I'm waiting. I'm waiting in the middle of the street, facing the direction, and I'm waiting for the sign to turn. Where it's like a little white guy, but he's supposed to be riding a scooter because it says ride. Now I'm able to go. Now I'm able to ride across. And still you gotta look. You always gotta look. Just because you feel like you're safe and you're walking across the street or anything like that, doesn't mean someone can go and kick with their car. Or no, doesn't mean someone can go and not kick with their car. You want to be able to ride in the direction where everybody's going and really pay attention. That's why I'm not really looking for the camera too much. Here's another rule that kind of doesn't really apply to anywhere else. If you're in New York, just watch out for Batman. Watch out for Minnie Mouse. Watch out for Elmo. And Taki Mickey Mouse. What's up? Whoa. Also watch out for our Statue of Liberty. So yeah, you guys see we always ride into the traffic. A lot of people always say like it's dangerous. It's really this is part of the New York City lifestyle. You have to ride in the street. You will get a hundred dollar fine if you ride in the sidewalk. Anybody who comes to New York, please pay attention to everything around you. Don't just look straight. Look everywhere. You listen to everything. Do not ride with your headphones in. Don't ride with sunglasses. Sometimes they're glared in the sun. Other cars can be more sunglasses and you actually can't see perfectly. Sometimes the rim of the sunglasses kind of kills vision. It's kind of like a blind spot. That really, really doesn't help at all. And I've done it before. I know what it feels like. And look, they're not bothering me because I'm doing everything perfectly right. All right, guys, I really hope you learned a lot from this. This is very, very important. My how-tos that I make on this channel apply to what I do and what I've done in order to get better at riding. And this is very, very important, not just to do the tricks, but just to get around. The skate park isn't right outside your doorstep. You have to ride to the skate park you have to get there. And being safe is very, 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 very important. And a lot of people always ask me and ask me why I ride in the street. You have to. And when you do, please be careful. If you watch my videos, don't get influenced to be reckless. Really pay attention that I'm actually paying attention and being very cautious and following all the rules. So thank you guys for watching. There's other things you really want to know on what to do and stuff with scootering, please let me know in the comments below. Even if it has nothing to do with tricks, it has to do with just common sense and things that apply to getting around and being a scooter rider and actually living and rolling around on one of these things. Thanks again for watching guys. I am John and I'll see you guys in the next how-to.